Ever had a day where everything seemed to go wrong? Long lines that make you late? Forgot your wallet when it's time to pay? Your flip-flops snapped? Worse if it happens when you're traveling and far away from home. So, try these tips for your next trip. First, don't overspend on tickets. The best time to buy them is about 7 weeks before the trip. If you miss that window, you still have a chance to save since prices can change at any time. Just sign up for email alerts. And don't buy tickets for Sunday, it's the most expensive day to fly. Tuesday is best, because that's when new offers appear. When you've searched for certain tickets before, travel sites save this data and then only show you seemingly tempting offers compared to what you saw earlier. But they're still more expensive than they should be. You can avoid this by using incognito mode. That way, your cookies are hidden from the site you're browsing. You've got the best tickets, now you're in the airport rushing to your gate. When you're waiting at the security checkpoint, find the line where business-looking people are standing. They're obviously more frequent travelers, and they get through security way faster. Well, you're on the plane, and the flight attendants seem to be ignoring you. Did you book a seat in the back? Should've. You'll get the quickest service there, since these seats are closer to where the cabin crew hang out in the galley. If this airline doesn't offer in-flight movies, put your phone in a sandwich baggie and close it up in the tray table. There you go! Quick, homemade, hands-free screen. You ever get dizzy during long flights? It's because the pressure makes the blood travel away from your brain and gather in your legs. Wear compression socks to prevent this. And don't forget to pack a tennis ball in your carry-on. You can roll it under your foot or on your back for a much-needed mid-flight massage. Now you've arrived at your destination and you're looking for your luggage at the baggage claim. But all the suitcases look the same. Here, I'll tie a bright yellow ribbon around the handle on yours. There! Don't forget to customize your luggage with ribbons, stickers, colorful duct tape, anything that'll make it stand out. Another thing you could do is mark your luggage fragile when checking it in the first place. It won't end up on the bottom of all the other suitcases, so it'll come out first on the carousel. Now, the best way to find an exit in the airport or a place to eat is to follow the flight crew. Those guys surely know where it's tasty and cheap to grab a bite, and how to get out of the building as quickly as possible. Just don't look creepy as you're following them. They might get the wrong idea about you. You come out of the airport and it's raining. Now all your bags are going to get wet. Well, not if you pack some trash bags. You can put them around your suitcases. Oh great, the shuttle driver has just informed everyone that the ride to the hotel will be 4 hours long. It's perfect for a nap, but it's so uncomfortable to sleep in a bus. Easy, pack a pillowcase with you, stuff some of your clothes in it, and now you have an insta-pillow. You get to the hotel and check in. That's when the receptionist leans in closer and whispers, Theft has become a problem around here recently. Be careful with your stuff. Pause. Let's zoom you back home for this tip. Take an empty shampoo bottle, cut a decent-sized slit in the back, and put your valuables in it. If you go to the beach, you can safely leave your wallet, jewelry, and so on in this shampoo bottle in the hotel shower. Nobody would think to take it. Finally, you get to your room. The flight was rough and jet lag makes everything worse. Time to go to bed. Hey, stop right there! As impossible as it sounds, now's a perfect time to do some exercise. It'll help shake off all those negative after-flight effects, and you won't mess up your sleep schedule. It doesn't have to be anything intense. Some simple stretching will do the trick. You know how the lights go out each time you take your key card out of the slot? Just put any other card or a piece of paper in the slot, and the power will stay on. Unpacking your suitcase, you find that nearly half your clothes are soaked in shampoo and shower gel. Okay, we'll do the time travel trick again. As you're packing, put a piece of plastic bag on the bottle opening and screw the cap on to hold it in place. If you have a garment that gets wrinkled too easily, pack it in a plastic folder. You can also fold it with a piece of tissue paper in between each layer. And a trick for makeup lovers. To keep your pressed powder products from breaking on the way to your destination, close a cotton ball into the compact. 
But you, my friend, have packed light because your suitcase didn't have enough room. You could have fit more outfits in there if you'd roll your clothes up instead of folding them. You can still do the tissue paper trick too, just roll it up in the garment to prevent wrinkles. The rain's gone, the sun has come out, time to hit the beach. But lo and behold, your flip-flops snap on the way there. Just pop into a store and buy a loaf of bread. Use the tie to fix your sandals. Grab some lunch meat, and now you have a cheap snack while you're there. You can also use a hair tie to fix the broken strap in place underneath. After a good swim, you get back to the hotel and get ready for a night out. Only, all your necklaces got tangled in your suitcase. Next time, pull them through a straw before packing them. It looks funny, but it's worth it. As for earrings, rings, and small dainty pieces, use a pillbox to organize and keep them secure in your suitcase. Throw some hair ties in there too. Might need one for your flip-flops, right? Okay, now you're ready to head out. If you're looking for a top-quality restaurant, look for places where the menu is short. It's the golden rule. Higher quantity usually equals lower quality, and vice versa. If the cooks are constantly making the same few things, they have to be really good at it by now. Ah, you finished a delicious dish, and the waiter brings you the bill. You go to reach for your wallet, and great, left it in my shampoo bottle. At least you grabbed your phone and tucked some cash into the back of the case. Woo! Those loud tourists having the time of their life nearby sure make it tempting to stay out all night. But if you want to see all the famous local sites, tuck in early. That way, you'll be able to get up before everyone else, so you'll beat the lines. Unlucky for you, it's impossible to sleep in this hotel. Loud neighbors, noisy streets, bright streetlights coming in through the curtains. Don't go anywhere without a sleep mask and earplugs. Well, the week has flown by, and now it's time to head back home. You're packing your suitcase again, but what can you do with your dirty clothes? Remember that pillowcase you brought to make a DIY pillow? Yep, throw them in there. Oh yeah, and don't forget to put a scented bar of soap in there too. You'll be glad when you open it back up once you're home. As for those dirty shoes you've been walking around in, put shower caps on the bottom. It'll keep them from mucking up your suitcase. <laughs>